guys out and welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be something I actually filmed last week that I forgot to make an intro for and it is how much work does a year 13 doing three A levels in a week? So how much work I get done in a week but slight twist as it was February half term. I started off the week quite well, I was really productive but I did get ill on Thursday so Thursday onwards, it was a bit of a downhill, but I thought I'd show you what I got up to anyway. Let's go! Monday. To kick off the week on Monday, I did some functions for maths. These were questions from a textbook and I just reviewed the whole chapter. I also worked on some hyperbolic calculus for a while, which was doing a lot of Maddus maths questions from his topic bank. They're really good and very helpful. For further statistics, I did unbiased estimators, which led to a slight breakdown as I didn't understand any of it. So I definitely need to go over it again, but I took a break for mental health purposes. And for physics, I made notes and flashcards for the capacitance chapter. I really liked that chapter, so it was quite fun to do. All of this came to four hours of work completed on Monday, which isn't as much as I wanted to do, but I think I did struggle, although it was quite long ago, so honestly can't remember. Tuesday. On Tuesday, I actually did so much work. Oh my god, right? So I started with some uncertainty notes for physics, and I never done them before. Then I did transformations from maths. I worked through the textbook before attempting some past paper questions from maths DIY. Then I made some De Moore theorem flashcards for the methods before getting every single complex number past paper question together into one massive topic bank. I did loads of questions from there. I I, I mean it would definitely wasn't a few i did it for a good couple of hours then i did flashcards the capacitance ones that i made the day before and i use a whiteboard for my flashcards because i think it works so much better for me personally as like i'm properly remembering what i done also just to note that it was pancake day so i didn't work too late because i made pancakes with my dad and i had a lot of fun however before i did go make pancakes i worked on some hypothesis testing from further maths and i was really struggling to do the questions so i went away and made a flow chart you might be able to see it there for helping me figure out which type of method to use and i also worked for six and a half hours on this day wednesday wednesday was actually the day i did the most work during february half term I think in total it was over seven hours, which is actually kind of crazy. I started the day by working on some physics notes for the magnetic field chapter. Then I did some further statistics questions on the normal distribution, which was helping me be able to tell the difference between one observation and multiples of one observation. Then I worked through the calculus questions in the 2019 further maths paper, which took absolutely ages and some of them were so hard and it gave me such a big headache that I had to take a bit of a break for an hour. After that I did some points of inflection questions from Maths DIY because it was something like kind of simple to do and um, that was my maths for the day as I hadn't done any so far. Then I carried on with my magnetic field notes from earlier and also made flashcards of them and at this point I think I was nearly hitting seven hours of work and I really wanted to so I grabbed out my statistics folder and I actually did a bit of statistics for normal maths which was on probability and I didn't even plan to do it but I just wanted to get seven hours. Thursday. On Thursday, I woke up feeling super rough but tried to power through it. I spent a while doing my physics homework, which were some past paper questions for capacitance and magnetic fields. Then I did some iteration past paper questions, which were from Maths DIY, and I found those actually to be quite okay. I made some further statistics notes for the Wilcoxon paired distribution, and that was quite easy to do, so I decided to do that. And I also 
did matrices past paper questions as I wanted to go over that topic as I hadn't touched it for a few months. I also planned to do a lot more such as the trapezium rule and some statistics but I didn't feel great so I took a break and later on in the day I decided to do lecture one from the classical mechanics theoretical minimum book which I actually really enjoyed and I plan to do a few more lectures from that. By Friday I was feeling absolutely awful, I didn't sleep at all Thursday night and there was no way I was doing any work. I'm only just recovering now, like nearly a week later from whatever bug I had and it completely knocked me out so I didn't do any work Friday, Saturday or Sunday so my February half term week kind of ends on a Thursday. There we go, that is all of the work I did in February half term. As you can see, a bit of a decrease at the end and if I didn't get ill I probably would have done a lot more but honestly I think I've done plenty. Here are the final statistics of the week. If you really enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!